In this video, we'll be talking about multiplying up to three digit numbers by up to two digit numbers with or without regrouping. So let's start with multiplying numbers without regrouping. So let's have an example. We have 23 times 2. So we have a two-digit number multiplied by a one-digit number. So whenever we multiply numbers, we will multiply the multiplicand, the one on top, by each digit of the multiplier, which is the one at the bottom. But in this case, it's only one digit, so it just multiply once. So 3 times 2 it will give us 6, and 2 times 2 is 4 so 23 times 2 is 46 now how about this we have 14 multiplied by 21 so we have a two digit number which is the multiplicand and another two digit number which is the multiplier so as i said we are going to multiply uh, the multiplicand by each digit of the multiplier. So let's multiply. So this 14 will be multiplied by 1. Of course, the first digit of the product should be written exactly below the 1. So let's start with 4 times 1. It's 4. And then 1 times 1 is 1. Next is we multiply 14 with the second digit, which is 2. And of course, the product of this should be written straight to number 2. Because that's the one that we are where the multiplicand is multiplied. So let's multiply 4 times 2 is 8 and then 1 times 2 is 2 then after that we get the sum so for 4 4 plus nothing or 0 is just 4 1 plus 8 is 9 and then 2 just copy so the product of 14 and 21 is 294 Another example, we have a three digit number, 221, multiplied by a two digit number, which is 13. And so we multiply the multiplicand 221 by the first digit of the multiplier, which is 3. So let's multiply. 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6. Then 2 times 3, another 6. Then let's multiply the 221 by the second digit of our multiplier, which is 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. And another 2 times 1 is 2. Then we'll get the sum. So 3 plus nothing or 0 is 3. 6 plus 1 is is 7 6 plus 2 is 8 and then copy the 2 so the product of 221 and 13 is 2873 now how about if it involves regrouping let's take for example 23 multiplied by 8 so this is a two digit multiplicand multiplied by a one digit multiplier so let's multiply so three times eight is 24 but we cannot write 24 but you have to put four and regroup the two so we put the two on top that is regrouping but it's commonly known as carrying we carry the two but that is actually 
regrouping. So let's continue. 2 times 8 is 16 plus 2, that is 18. So the product of 23 and 8 is 184. Now let's have another example. We have 58 multiplied by 34. So this is a two-digit multiplicand multiplied by a two-digit multiplier. And so um, instead of using the word regroup, let me use the word carry because it is where I am used to. So anyway, regroup and carry are just the same concept. So let us multiply the uh, multiplicand to the first digit of the multiplier, which is 4. So 8 times 4 is 32. We bring down 2 or put 2 and we carry the 3. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 3 is 23. Next, we multiply our 58, the multiplicand, by the second digit of the multiplier, which is 3. So 8 times 3 is 24, then carry 2. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2, 17. Then we get the sum. So 2 plus 0 is 2, 3 plus 4 is 7, 2 plus 7 is 9 and 0 plus 1 or just simply copy 1. So the product of 58 and 34 is 1972. Now let's have another example that involves regrouping. Let's have 418 multiplied by 25. So a three-digit number multiplied by a two-digit number. So let's start. So we'll multiply our multiplicand with, with the first digit of the multiplier, which is 5. So 8 times 5 is 40. So bring down 0 and then we carry 4. 1 times 5 is 5 plus 4 is 9. 4 times 5 is 20. Next, we multiply our multiplicand 418 by the multiplier second digit, which is 2. 8 times 2, 16. Carry 1. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. 4 times 2 is 8. eight. And then we get the sum. 0 plus nothing is 0, 9 plus 6 is 15, carry 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, 2 plus 8 is 10. So the product of 418 and 25 is 10,450. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button. And also, write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.